Welcome back to Pandora Workshop for another dice video. Today we're making an interesting combination of colors we've decided to call Wild Magic Surge. We've already used this set in game and a very lucky DM got three natural 20s in a row, so maybe that's a sign for you to keep watching until the end to be blessed by the dice gods that apparently blessed this really cool set. After mixing our resin, we divided it into five different cups to mix our colors. First we used a few drops of black pigment and dipped it into clear resin to get a darker shade. Then, using a bit of pearl white, we added that into the black to make it sparkly. Then we mixed mica powders for the bright colors. First we used orange. Then we used this magic blue. We followed that with magenta. And we added some of this cherry color to make it lighter. Last we added golden green. As you see with all the colors we added quite a lot of mica because we wanted the shades to be very intense. So with our colors ready, we got our mold out and started by pouring a small amount of the black pigment resin. Then we crumpled up some mylar and put that in before adding all of our colors. We added some more of the clear dark resin on top of that and then we began mixing colors. Now there isn't really a scientific technique behind this, we kind of played around with the different shades and let the resin do its thing to create interesting shapes and swirls. We did use our mixer to move some of the colors around a bit and get any bubbles out of the mylar, but spoiler alert, we had some trouble with that anyway. We then added the rest of the colors onto the cap and used a lighter to burn off the surface bubbles before putting the cap on. As always, we let that sit in the pressure pot for around 12 to 24 hours, depending on the day. And then they're ready to demold. Now, right off the bat, we see a few bubbles, and this is probably because of the mylar. Whenever you use a crumpled up material, it tends to create little air pockets, so you have to be very careful and try to get those bubbles out before it starts curing. The mixing stick wasn't enough, so next time we use mylar, we'll try dipping it in resin first to avoid this. Even with some surface bubbles, this is not a problem. It's very easy to fix, and in fact we're planning on making a video to show you how we fix these little imperfections. But despite the little voids, we're really happy with how they came out. They look amazing and the colors have mixed really well. You can see all of them, the clear dark resin helps the mylar come out as well. So all in all, there's just no bad angle on these dice. They look great all around.
we went ahead and painted the numbers using this fairy dust color, which is meant to be an effect to mix with other shades, but it also looks great on its own. And once they've dried and we've cleaned them up a little, this is the result. So during our last session, the DM, aka the person who made these, used these dice and managed to kick all of our asses with multiple natural 20s that just kept showing up, including three in a row. So hey, we must have done something right when we made them. Thanks so much for watching another dice making video. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or thoughts on this particular set, and we will see you in the next video.